Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am back with another video. I know it's been a few days. I know, I know. Y'all probably like, of course I fell off the face of the earth. Like, where is she? But I'm here y'all, I'm here. In this video, we're going to be recreating a set that Zule did. I'm going to enter it on the screen. I absolutely love this set. My favorite color is black, so like, I'm like, I have to do this. Um, I know I was supposed to do this set like forever ago, but we're here now and we're doing it. So for this set, I'll be using Nail Houses Nora, which is this black acrylic. And then I'll be using Dynamic Nail Supply 177, which is this new that I thought went like perfect with this. It was kind of like the same color nude that she used for her set. So y'all, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I'm going to be going in first with the nude nails, just because, you know, being that we're using black here, I don't want it to get mixed up into the lighter nude acrylic because it definitely will show. So I'm going in with the nude colors first. So I know some of you may be thinking like, so she's just going to pop up back on here like nothing ever happened, like she was never gone. I'm not going to get too much into it, but for the most part, like I need to add, um, well I was forced to take a break, um, cause I got sick at a point, um. But kind of before then, a little bit, I was trying to take a social media break from, like, Instagram, um, specifically. But, um, I got sick, so I got, or I was forced to take a little break. Um, and then, like, you know, just a bunch of, you know, real life stuff happening. So, um, that, you know, I needed to put my attention elsewhere. So, that's what kind of happened. And I'm trying to get back into the groove now. Like, before I left, I had so many videos for you guys and all of that so now I'm kind of like back up trying to get all of these videos edited and out to you guys but we're gonna get there as well as like um just a whole bunch of stuff y'all just a whole lot a whole lot of that I have to catch up on um packages just everything that you can think I have to catch up on um but yeah so that's what kind of happened and although, like, me getting sick, well, when I say I got sick, y'all, I had an ear infection, like, a really bad ear infection, and it just, like, was crazy. Um, I didn't have, like, COVID or, like, nothing crazy like that. Um, I had an ear infection, and for those of you who get, like, or have had an ear infection, you know that it sucks so bad. Like, I couldn't do anything at all for a few days, just in bed and all of that, but I'm not gonna dwell too much on that, um... But because of it, amongst, like, many other things that happened within the time that I was gone, um, I was forced to take a break from, like, social media, um, which was well needed as well. Like, I work so much, and it's like, I be on go, go, go all the time, and it's like, I never take a, a breath, really, I feel like, um... So everything that's been going on with me forced me to do so. And I can't lie, it felt really good to just put the phone down, delete the apps, and just not be on, like, present on social media. And just take a little breath. Like, this is your sign if you felt overwhelmed lately or just, like, you haven't taken a breath. Like, um, take a break, like, if you need to. If, even if it's a couple days or a week or a couple of weeks or whatever because like the universe and God will definitely force you at a point to do so. I know a lot of things happen you know in real life in our real lives off social media um that requires like our attention and like our energy because y'all honestly sometimes it can be like draining um I know we all have our issues but I'm saying all that to say just take a break when needed. I'm still not at 100. I would say that I'm at like 90% because I was doing really bad. Like not even just like being sick, but like my mental, everything like that. But we're not going to get too deep into it. I'm just glad to be like back, you know, um, I won't say that I'm back like, 
you know, stuff or things happen so abruptly, we just never know. Like, I'm just doing the best that I can to be present here with you guys. Um, because I do appreciate you guys. I love this platform. I love my little YouTube family. And I have missed y'all. And I'm sure y'all have missed me. Um, I'm sure y'all have noticed the last few videos that I posted about almost almost two weeks ago. Um, maybe like, mm, I don't know, 12 days, something like that. Almost two weeks. Um, I didn't put my voice over it because like that is when I was like kind of going through it. Um, you know, through the motions and all of that. And, um, I just didn't feel in the mood to, like, I was in the mood to, I know y'all wanted content still, y'all was gonna be like, where the video's at, but, um, yeah, like I said, we're not gonna dwell too much on it, we're just gonna go ahead and move forward. So, how have you all been? Like, I know we can't, like, chat live, but, um, more than likely this video will be a premiere, and even if you guys don't catch the premiere or anything like that, like, I know we all go through real life things, and I just, you know, want to do, like, a mental health check or anything like that, so if you feel comfortable, um, or anything, like, want to share, like, how are you guys feeling? Like, let me know in the comment section below, because I like chatting with y'all, we have a little YouTube family here, and let's chat. Alright y'all, so I'm going in now with the black and um, unlike the nude, I will be applying this black acrylic very thinly because I will be capping it. I always be sure to cap my color acrylics just so I don't um, have to waste them by building up the nail with them. So I apply them very thinly to the nail, which you guys will see, and then I cap them later on with clear. And again, just for anyone who may have missed it, the black that I'm using right here is Nail Houses Noir. I do highly recommend it because it's like the best black acrylic, like, um, very pigmented. It's not like very ashy or like, it's very, the dark, the darkest of the darkest black. So, highly recommend that, Nail Houses Noir. And then the nude that I used was from Dynamic Nail Supply and it was in the number, or I was going to say color, but the number 177. So, as of right now, y'all, we're in September, and it feels so, like, crazy. Like, time's going by so fast. My birthday was just the other day. Um, today is September 4th. My birthday was September 1st. Um, I turned 22. <laughs> it's even crazy to say, like, it's crazy time flies, but, um, that wasn't what I was trying to say. What I was trying to say is, time is flying, and... Um, pretty soon we'll be approaching fall. Um, in my opinion, fall doesn't start until like the end of September, almost August. So you guys will, and especially too, because, or since I've been gone for a little while, you guys are going to keep seeing like a lot of summer sets. Um, this one is kind of like not a summer set. I don't know. I don't, well, it's kind of summer just because it's black doesn't mean that it's not. Um, and it's very colorful too. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is that fall doesn't start for me until like august so you guys will keep seeing summer sets for me like i'm not a big fan of like well i love fall but i'm not a big fan of like doing a bunch of fall nails and um like halloween nails and all of those kind of things like you guys will keep seeing like bright summer nails for me because like i said technically summer doesn't start until like the end of september i mean summer isn't over until like the end of september um and like i said being that i was going a little while i have a billion sets that you guys have not seen yet that i filmed that um 
I recorded or did a few weeks back and you know over the period of summer so you guys are going to be seeing all of those but I definitely will be doing some fall set of course fall sets of course and I'm excited for the fall and the winter like um I'm not a summer person like I don't care for the summer at all um let me know in the comment section below if you guys are like a summer person or a fall person or even winter like let me know your favorite season in the comment section below um mine like i said is like the colder months so like fall and winter because i hate the summer i hate being hot y'all so bad like i would rather be cold and hot any day because i can always like you know put on more clothes and all those kind of things y'all when it's hot it's just hot um well, I'll be having the AC on, but I'm talking about, like, outside. Y'all know what I'm saying. Anyways, I'm rambling. Um, but, yeah, you guys are going to see a bunch of more summer sets for me, from me because I'm still catching up, haven't posted them yet, and all of that. So, yeah. Right now, I'm going in with Me Secrets Clear Acrylic to cap the nails, and then we're going to move into shaping after it. Alright, so I know like, you know, that was just over a few seconds ago, but I wanted to add to, to what I was just saying, um, is that I've already seen, like, if I'm not mistaken, I swear I've seen like a Halloween set already, like, I know I'm not tripping, it seems like every single year, like, people be like, pushing the sets before it should be, like, it's not even August yet, and like, y'all doing fall sets, or I've seen people doing fall sets, and I think I've seen like a one or two, um, like Halloween sets, like people, y'all are tripping. Like that's what I hate too. Well, what I hate, but that annoys me in the no com community because I see people doing like sets way too early. Like I'm just trying to still get my summer sets out, and y'all over here posting fall and Halloween sets. Like please relax, please. <laughs> like is it just me? I know I'm not tripping, y'all. Like don't people be doing sets too early? Like you'll see like spring sets in like December, or like, and then you'll see like. I don't know, fall sets in September, and then, like, Halloween sets in, like, like the end of September, like, not even that, like, it's not, it's literally September 4th right now, and I know in the next week or so, I'm gonna be seeing mad Halloween sets, and then after that, like, I say, like, November, like, the mid-November, I'm gonna start seeing Christmas sets, like, <laughs> y'all, these people be tripping, like, people be doing sets way too early, like, relax. Y'all, since I've been, like, um, gone for a little while, and when I, like, started, actually, no. So, now that I'm thinking about it and, like, kind of putting it together, like, right before I, like, took a break, um, yeah, remember, like, one of my last videos were about that one, I don't even want to talk about it, but that one person, like, um, still in my content all that posting onto their page like they're like me and putting their watermark all that like craziness um if you don't know what i'm talking about go ahead and check out my last few videos you'll see it there but that's kind of what happened like when i first got into my little funk and i didn't like want to post well didn't want to like do anything i was kind of like down like and like my mood was just shy and I was working on getting that whole situation resolved and it kind of like, or it did like suck my energy. And that was prior to me getting sick and like having to take another break because of everything else that was going on with me. But I say all that to say like between that time and the time I got sick again and took another break, I was just getting back into the groove of things and I was filming like some sets and I was freestyling. So I can't wait for you guys to see those sets because I, no I normally don't freestyle like off the top of my head like as I'm filming. So I was super proud of that. And I have a lot of like Virgo season sets because we're in Virgo season, duh. But um, yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see those. And I just have like a bunch of other videos for you guys to um, see that I have to edit and get up to y'all since I've been like out of it for a little while. So stay tuned and be sure that you have your bell notifications turned on and that you're subscribed first. Um, and then turn on those bell notifications so that you're notified each time I post because we back y'all. Anyways, y'all, as you can see, the nails are complete with application, and I'm going in and chipping and filing the nails right now using my recent new fave from Zole. I love this her nail files. Like, I love this nail file so much. Um, as you just saw there a few seconds ago, I pulled it out of this box that she sent me with a bunch of goodies. Um, ooh, and now that I think about it, I did not... <laughs> 
I haven't yet edited and uploaded that for you guys. Like, y'all, I have to catch up. Um, but you guys will be seeing that probably the next video. Um, the goodies that she sent me for doing her um, intro and outro and all of those kind of things. But you guys will be seeing that video soon. Alright, so as you guys just saw there, I just took my 5-in-1 drill bit as usual and straightened the tips of the nails as well as defined the shape of the nail underneath and then last, seal my cuticle. And I'll be doing that as I go along. And just in case any of you guys are wondering, I do normally use my um, medium 5-in-1 drill bit with the blue tip, but in this particular case, I'm using my... Um, extra fine five and one drill bit it's just easier on the cuticles and um if any of you are interested um i did get it from amazon it's the panna brand and i can leave that one along with my um my the blue one the medium grit one is already in my amazon storefront but i can use or i can leave <laughs> this yellow one there as well and just in case any of you guys are wondering as well i always do leave the link to my amazon storefront and the um links you know below in the description of each of my videos and for those of you who don't know what my amazon storefront is it is just basically like a list of my um and then links to like direct links to my favorite um amazon nail products It's always the thumb for me, like, it's just bomb. As well as the rest of them, but the thumb does something to me. Anyways, here is how the nose are looking, all shaped and filed. And next we're gonna move on, well, I did buff the nails, but I think off camera um, and clean them off. But next we're gonna move on to the design. All right, so for the designs, I'll be using a ton of colors, starting with Nail Houses Grape, which is that purple color, then Madame Glam's Aqua Blue, Madam Glam Neon Lime Green, Nail Houses Lime Wire, Madam Glam's Screaming Summer Neon, Beatles A263, and then last but not least, my absolute favorite gel polishes from Madam Glam, which is their Perfect White and their Perfect Black. All right, y'all, so let's get into it. So first, I don't normally do nails like this. Like, I don't do, like, nail art, drawing on the nails or anything like that. I've never really done it before, so I was definitely in for a challenge with these nails. Like, um, I think these took me a total of, like, four hours and some change, while I normally only take an hour and a half to two hours to film these videos for you guys. Like, um, you know, like, five nails, like, a set of five. Um, so yeah, these took me a little while. Like I said, I'm not an artist or like a drawer or anything like that. Um, so these were definitely time consuming because I was doing the best that I can. And it wasn't that hard really, I just never done it before. I think the hardest part of these nails were like the, the eye, but we're gonna get into that. Um, sometimes no art can look scary, but you just have to take it like one step at a time. Anyways, y'all, I'm just applying the colors onto the palette so that they're easily accessible. So I don't have to keep going back and forth. Um, and then as you can see, I use Madame Glam's Perfect White to um, apply a base to the nails of the design that I'm going to be doing so that I can lay the colors over top so that they will pop. But anyways, let's get into it, y'all. So on the pinky nail, I'm going in with these little rainbow swirl type of vibe. Um, that is what she did on the pinky there. And y'all, of course, I'm recreating this set, but I am making it like, you know, my own little style. I decided to not go with little black lines that she did in the middle of each color, just because I feel like it would like pop more if I didn't do that. So yeah. Also, I am curing each of the colors in between because I do get comments like that, believe it or not, asking if I do that. So yes, I am curing each color in between.
All right, y'all, this is how that nail is looking. Super, super cute. And I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next nail, which is the ring finger and creating this little French design. I'm going in with that pink from Beatles. I think A263, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Go ahead and look back at the color if you want to know the exact one. But I'm going in with, the, with that color for the base of this nail here. All right, and I went ahead and cured that, and now I'm going to be creating this little purple swirl at the tip of this nail, like it is in the photo. And see y'all, I realized I was trying to make this like little swirl perfect, but I didn't have to, um, because I will be going in with the black and I can clean up any mistakes like that. But as y'all can see, like I said, like me and like swirls and abstract, I don't get along with it. Like it's not my favorite. And that is why you guys have not seen me do any abstract nails on this channel. But um, yeah. All right, and now I'm gonna go in with the Madame Glam's Perfect Black to create the little black swirl, and then we're gonna move on. All right, and now I'm gonna take Madame Glam's Perfect White and then create those little sparkles on the nails. And as you will see with the pinky, I did leave some space alongside the little swirls for bling because that's what Zule had on hers. But when I finished the nails and um, was debating on if I should add bling or not, I went with not adding bling because I just really love how they look without it, so yeah. So I'm just going to be um, finishing up adding these little dots and sparkles and then we're going to move on to the next nail design. All right, so this is how these nails are looking. Super, super cute already. And I'm gonna move on to the middle nail and I'm gonna be using the white again as the base, just like, you know, outlining the little, um, you know, putting the base for the little swirls. We're gonna be doing like the same kind of rainbow swirls as the pinky on this nail, but in a different like shape and formation, I guess. Yeah. And on this one, as you guys will see, we'll be drawing a little eye. And I feel like that was the most challenging part um, with this whole, like, um, 
y'all it's late and i'm yeah um this that was the most challenging part of this whole nail set um because i've never drawn an eye before but i think it came out pretty cute but um anyways yeah so just going in again with the white at the base so that the colors can pop so y'all while i was filming this video i was watching zule's little live with her tiktok scoop party and i told you guys well my friends on there like to say hey to my youtube so that's them shout out to y'all um if you've never like tuned in to one of zule's lives like well first of all if you don't know who zule's nails are you're tripping well it's not your fault but yeah check her out but then if you don't tune into her lives or if you've never been on a Zule's Alive, like I don't know where you've been, but you need those in your life. <laughs> I love Zule's lives. I'm always watching them. Um, and if you don't know what like um, a scoop is or like a scoop party or whatever, basically um, Zule, she has her own nail shop. If you guys don't know, she sells her own nail supplies. You guys see me use her Zule bling adhesive all the time. But she has her own nail supplies. And basically, a scoop is a scoop of random products. She has like acrylic and glitter scoops, nail art scoops, and bling scoops. And basically, like the party is her scooping the people's orders on live, and everybody is seeing what they're getting. So it's a whole really really fun like thing i really enjoy it and she hosts them monthly and if you have not like like i said if you haven't seen any of her lives like please follow her tiktok and tune into her lives they're super lit and follow her on all social media platforms tiktok instagram they're all the same zulay's nails and she's also here on youtube where if you don't catch any of her lives she also posts them here i love zulay y'all she's super lit and yeah follow her and Zulay, if you're watching, because I know you'll watch this at some point, hey girl, hey, hopefully you made it to the premiere, um, but if you didn't, it's okay. Hey anyways. All right, y'all, so here's how this nail is looking. It's really, really cute. And now I'm gonna go in and draw the eye, y'all. Now, I was really surprised at the way the eye came out. Um, I was not expecting the way it came out. Like, it came out exactly how I pictured, for the most part. And I was really proud of it because it's my first time drawing an eye. Um, but yeah, I'm going in with the base. Anytime you're like drawing something, you want to go in with like the base first and then add the rest of it. Like you don't want to, um, yeah, I don't really know what I'm trying to say. It's 2 a.m. But you want to go in with the base and then like 
work your way with the rest of the design so that is what I'm doing here just doing the outline of it or the base whatever and I'm drawing this little pink and I ended up as you guys will see I ended up having to draw it again basically it's like the little you know like the inner eye part like where it's like pink at it's kind of like giving that type of vibe um, but it could also be like eyeliner or whatever you want to call it like whatever you want to say that it is um but i ended up having to go over it again because when i drew the eyelashes it kind of covered it so i did it over it but you guys will see that um also that orange at the top of the lid is supposed to be like some kind of eyeshadow but y'all i'm not good at this i don't do like makeup i don't draw or anything like that so yeah then i took my dotting tool and i went in with that um purple grape from nail house um you guys already saw the colors i don't have to keep naming them but um yeah i'm just gonna let you guys go ahead and see me um you know see the process of me drawing the eye and i'm gonna be quiet now wait i'm gonna be quiet after i explain the eyelash part so i know this looks crazy i know you know what i'm saying like it looked a little crazy at first i had to kind of like erase them and then go back again with the um, eyelashes and stuff but what I was going for the look with the eyelashes like I was trying to make it look realistic like kind of like eyelash extension eyelash extensions <laughs> um I was trying to make it look realistic with the eyelashes going like different ways and some thick some thinner like y'all I told y'all I don't draw I don't know I don't do I don't even wear eyelash extensions, so I don't really know much of how they look. I just know they're kind of, like, wild and, like, wispy and just kind of, like, yeah. So, I'm just drawing a whole bunch of different, like, size lines, going different directions, different, you know, all of that. So, yeah. In the end, I came out looking, I came out looking okay in the end. Like, came out looking like a, like an eyelash. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is my process, y'all. I'm not a drawer, not an artist, never claimed to be. <laughs> Alright, so after drawing all of the eyelashes, this is how it came out looking for the most part. Like, I think I may have went in and added, like, a little bit more to the eyelash part to make it look, you know, a little better. But that's how it looked for the most part. And then I went in with my dotting tool, adding those little white lines, like, almost kind of like a... Uh, glare reflection or whatever and then like we're making it trippy so just adding like the little white lines and plus Zule had her little white dots in the side of the eyes too um and I added just a little extra ones to make it look like you know like I said a glare like a little reflection or whatever whatever y'all I'm trying to make it look realistic okay <laughs> um and then again like I said I went in with the little pink again to make it um pop a little more since the bottom eyelash is kind of like um got drawn over it but y'all this is my process this is how it's looking so far and then Zule, she had these little um pink little things on top um over top of the eyelash and mine doesn't look exactly how hers look y'all like i said i'm recreating the set but i'm putting my own little twist to it i'm not perfect and i'm not a drawer okay um but i tried to make it look as close as possible to hers but again making it my own Alright y'all, and then next I'm going in with the little sparkles and dots again, like Zule has hers on there. Y'all get the gif. All right, and then on the what index finger, I'm going in with the orange fringe like she did. However, um, I am gonna make mine different um, because I think she just left hers plain. But I wanted to put some kind of like art on there. I didn't think it would. I think it would look better with some kind of art on there. So you guys will see that I ended up drawing a little mushroom, which was super cute. <laughs> Um, and y'all don't judge me for any of my stuff. 
again reiterating that I am not an artist I'm not a drawer I don't do this y'all I'm not a pro I just did everything the best that I could I do want to get into like doing more drawing on the nails though so that I can get like better like yeah I think it would be super dope if I like taught myself how to like really really draw on the nails I think that would be super dope let me know in the comment section below if you guys would like to see like more nail art um like um painting like drawing type of like um sets okay and then here you guys saw i kind of changed the lighting because the orange was kind of like so bright that it wasn't showing up like properly so i changed the lighting a little bit and this is how the colors really look like true the orange look true to its color um like i said it was so bright the color like reflected off of the like the light and it was just too bright so but this is like you guys can see a little better here so i'm starting off my little mushroom with the little stem part um and then I'm going to outline that and I try to inc incorporate all of the little colors that I use for the set onto this nail as well. But I'm going to hush now and let you guys finish seeing the little process.
okay y'all so that is how my little mushroom is looking i think that it's like the cutest thing <laughs> but moving on to the thumb part um on her little mannequin for her set she didn't do a thumb um most people don't do thumbs on a mannequin because you can't even see it but i'm like i was thinking that black would be like the next nail that would look like right with it and then i was thinking that i could go ahead and incorporate those same little rainbow swirls but um instead i wanted to do it at the top and the bottom of the nail i thought that would be really cute so that's what i'm doing here and of course as always or what i've been doing is laying the white base and then putting the colors on top so that they can pop okay and y'all this nail took me so long like it took me the longest um because all of the um back and forth with the um rainbow swirls and lines and all of that but it was so worth it because that ended up being like one of my favorite nails like they're all my favorite but that one was super super cute um but anyway y'all i'm gonna let you guys finish finish y'all it's like almost 3 a.m and i cannot get my words out and i'm super tired but i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys finish watching um the process
sorry y'all this is how the thumb is looking so super cute i absolutely love it and we're gonna finish it off of course with the little sparkles and dots in the middle on the black to set it off and finish this set i know this video was kind of long but that was kind of purposely as well because what better way than to come back than that but anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and finish this thumb and then i'm gonna insert the final results Y'all, they came out so super pretty. I absolutely love them. They're so fun and colorful. And I love that I decided to not go with bling because they just look so cute, like, as is. Anyways, y'all, I'm not going to make this video any more long when it has to be. Thank you to all of those who joined me in this premiere. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you guys think I know the look or what? Shout out to Zule for her beautiful set. Subscribe to my channel and be sure to turn on your post notifications so that you are notified each and every single time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.